We're here today at Kilmacurra County Wicklow to meet the head gardener Seamus O'Brien. This is Kilmacurra, we're part of the National Botanic Gardens of Ireland, so we're a sister garden of the Botanic Gardens at Glasnevin in Dublin. We're one of the best kept secrets in Ireland, um, 50 acres of a former estate that belonged to the Acton family that covered 5,500 acres. Well, we grow plants that enjoy the sort of the, the high rainfall that we get here, also acid conditions, uh, and we've got a mild climate. So that allows the cultivation of um, Himalayan rhododendrons, tree-like rhododendrons, uh, and plants that come from the temperate regions south of the equator, so uh, temperate South America, so Chile and Argentina, and from New Zealand, uh, Australia, Tasmania, and so on. To restock the garden, there always was a policy of, of plants being being sent from various different parts of the world here in the 19th century, uh, when when the gardens were privately owned. So we've done a lot of work travelling, um, particularly in South America, Chile. Um, we've done a lot of work in China, collecting in 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 various different parts of China, and those collections are growing in the garden here. And not just that, we've spent um, a lot of time recently travelling in the Himalaya, studying um, the same sort of plants that we grow here at Kilimanjaro to see them in their native habitats in the Sikkim Himalaya in, 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 uh, in India. We're one of the best places in Britain and Ireland for growing what would generally be considered difficult plants. So um, we're above the national average for rainfall, we've got a beautiful warm climate and we've got the most beautiful deep earth, very rich soil to, to, to grow plants in. So as a result, um, over the course of the last 300 years of gardening here, we've inherited an amazing plant collection. The rhododendron walk, or the broad walk as we, as most people know it, is, as you say, one of the most spectacular features in the garden here at Kilmacurra. It was planted in the 1850s by the garden owners at the time, Thomas Acton and his sister Janet. And it's rhododendron alticlarense. It's a, it's, it, it's a rhododendron hybrid in, involving species from the Himalaya. And it's a 60 foot tall avenue, an archway of, of, of rhododendrons that becomes particularly famous when the petals fall and carpet they walk beneath. A rhododendron that's unique to here, we have several plants around the place um, and again it's a rhododendron arboreum um, hybrid. It's very tall, it's a good 25 feet tall um, and it was possibly something that was selected in the past in the 19th century by Janet Acton and we're going to name it for her. There is a rhododendron Thomas Acton named for her brother but this is unique and we've been told by rhododendron experts it needs a name so we're going to formally describe it as rhododendron Janet Acton next year. Yeah, Kilmacurra is a great place, particularly for families, Dermot. Um, we uh, have lots of green space, lots of open space. Um, it's the lungs of County Wicklow. It's very close to Dublin, so we get a lot of, of Dubliners coming down to visit. And uh, we put on lots of events as well. You know, there's guided walks twice daily. Everything's for free here. And we have lots of children's activities, including sort of children's guided walks and, and children's workshops here. Um, so it is a very popular place, particularly for families, but not just for the plant enthusiasts, but we do get lots of families visiting. Uh, it takes seven years to flower Cardiocrinum giganteum, the giant Himalayan lily from seed. But as you've seen in our border, you can see them just coming in to flower. They'll be in flower in about four weeks' time. And I mean, they are colossal. And uh, visitors are bowled over when they see them, these enormous trumpets of heavily scented flowers. Um, so it, we can grow a lot of plants that in sort of in, in urban gardens in Dublin would be, in urban gardens in Dublin would be considered difficult, but because um, of better growing conditions here, they, they seem so much easier to grow here. For me, actually, at the height of midsummer, there's nothing more special than blue poppies. They're absolutely stunning. They're sort of silky blue poppies, and again, um, it, that's something that we have been travelling back out to the Himalaya, into, to Sikkim in particular, in Bhutan, to, to study, and that allows us, you know, having seen them in the wild, growing in their wild habitats, we can grow them better back here. We know exactly their cultural needs when we come back to Ireland. Yeah, so there's a fairly wacky collection in that you've got Himalayan plants alongside Chinese plants and the Salmizias of course are New Zealand mountain daisies. Um, bright gleaming silver foliage but at this time of year carrying enormous daisy-like flowers um, and again they're one of my great favourites. 
What most people are growing is the common cabbage palm, Cordelan australis, but we grow the mountain cabbage tree here, Cordelan indivisa, and I think it is one of the most exotic foliage plants that you can grow in this country. It is tricky. There is a huge mortality, a failure rate, an enormous failure rate, but it is very exacting in its needs. But it grows like uh, Jack and the Beanstalk here. Absolutely. Um, seems to really enjoy, enjoy the growing conditions here. Another special site here are the wonderful wildflower meadows. Yes, and it's something that people are very nostalgic about, you know, older visitors to, to the gardens here. They'll tell you, well, that's what it was like when I was a child. And because of modern farming practices and the use to, uh, of modern day um, fertilizers like 10, 10, 20, it's become increasingly rare. So if you come here, um, the wildflower meadows are just uh, kaleidoscopic, a, a massive array of color from the very very start of the season when it starts as a crocus meadow and it's absolutely purple from top to toe until we cut the meadows in September so it's a long season of interest with actually very little effort. So we've got European champions, a handful of European champions. We have um, British and Irish champions and Irish champions. Um, the gardens here are a good 300 years old. So you will come across some very ancient trees including a yew here by the pond that's a good six, six centuries old. I hope you've enjoyed our little trip around Kilmacurra. Be sure to check out my weekly gardening column in the RT Guide where you get lots of information and tips. And I look forward to meeting you the next time. See you then. Take care.